butternut squash soup. Let's get cooking. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Fat Boy Cooking with me, your host, Bailey, a.k.a. Mr. Fat Boy himself. But uh, I have been losing a few pounds here, so uh, kind of awkward. But that's not the whole point of this video, but we should just get right into it. Let's do it. So my past self is going to start prepping the squash, but we're going to talk about ingredients needed to make this soup. So to make this soup, you're going to need two tablespoons extra virgin olive oil, or if you want to go the Rachel Ray version, EVOO, one large onion chopped, a half teaspoon of salt, one butternut squash, preferably about three pounds, peeled, seeded, and cubed, three garlic cloves chopped, one tablespoon fresh sage chopped, a half tablespoon of fresh rosemary, which is going to be minced, a teaspoon of fresh ginger, just going to grate that nicely, three cups of vegetable broth and freshly ground black pepper, some garnish options for you, bacon, chopped parsley, toasted pepitas, and crusty bread. All right, so what you saw at the beginning was me slicing the top and the bottom off of that squash and then absolutely failing, failing to start slicing the skin off. Now, an easier way to do this would be to take a vegetable peeler to the squash, but I left my knife bag at work. And because I left my knife bag at work, I don't have my actual knife. So I'm just using the, the cheap cooking knives that I bought off of uh, Amazon. So I apologize for that. So before we dice, we need to scrape out the core. So what you're seeing on screen here is kind of the filling of a pumpkin if you think about it. It's all the guts, all the seeds, things that are not going to blend up nicely when we go to finish the soup. So it's very important that we kind of just scrape all that out. And I'm just using a spoon here. And uh, did you see the cat? So now that the guts have been scraped out, it is time to dice. And let me tell you how important it is to press record before you get halfway through that process. As you can see, I didn't do that. The size and shape of this doesn't really matter. Uh, all we're doing here is just breaking them down into nice smaller pieces so that they cook more evenly. It's all gonna get blended up in the end. And guess what? It's onion time. It's the same step that we do in every video. Take off the tip, slice it in half, remove the skin, dice it. It doesn't have to be pretty. Same thing as the squash. It's just gonna get blended up. And then garlic. Pressing it with your knife, releasing that paper, and we're just gonna chop it. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it up. So now we're moving on to the herbs. What I'm doing here is picking off each individual leaf of sage and then moving on to the rosemary. And then combining everything into a nice pile and kind of just running your knife through it. Here's a shot for some uh, close up. So now we're about to get cooking. First thing, adding your oil to the pan and getting that sucker nice and hot. Looking for a good medium high heat here. And once that oil is smoking, add your onions into the pan and give it a little whiskey mixy business. Now we add in the salt. And what comes after the salt? <laughs> it's black pepper, bro. And now we insert some more mixy action into here. After letting those onions cook for about five minutes, time to add in the squash. Give it some more mixy business and let it cook for about eight minutes until that squash starts to soften up. Into the pot goes our garlic, ginger, sage, and rosemary. And you guessed it, a little more mixy business. Now we add in the vegetable stock and we're gonna bring that pan to a nice boil. Once it's boiling, cover it, turn the heat down to a medium and let it go for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you can tell that your squash is done when you can easily pierce through it with a fork. Kind of like that. Working in small batches here, we're going to add all that mix right into the blender. Now, I do highly recommend letting it cool down just a little bit before you blend. Otherwise, you end up blowing your top off. On my blender, I ended up using the puree setting and it worked perfectly. After it's all blended, I'm just adding it back into the pot. That way I can check to make sure I like the consistency of it and check for seasoning. Now, if it's too thick for your preference, go ahead and add just a little bit more of that vegetable stock. 
and doing the fork test it was perfect for me and the taste phenomenal so now it's time to plate or in our case we're gonna bowl it up add as much soup as you want sprinkle it with some of those toasted pepitas bacon add in that parsley leaf a little bit of crusty bread and boom there you have it so yeah that's how you make butternut squash soup again finish with toasted pepitas bacon parsley crusty bread everything you need to make a perfect soup don't forget to like comment subscribe and most importantly don't forget to do the little happy dance. I'll see you on the next one.